Hi guys. So for today's video, I wanted to do a different look. I know I've been doing more neutral looks and I wanted to do this look right here. It is using a ColourPop color that I've wanted to use for a while. It's called Frisky. So Frisky is one of their beautiful super shock shadows and it is so full of glitter that I just had to get it and it's got like a darker base which I absolutely love. So if you want to see how I got this look, I actually used a lot of neutral to cooler tones um, with uh, the Tartlet and Bloom palette as a base. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. For starters, I'm going to use the colors Flower Child and Smarty Pants from the Tartlet and Bloom palette. I'm going to take this with the Sigma E40 brush and use this as my transition colors. I'm making sure to add them and blend them out as I go. This will create a nice neutral base for all the other shadows that I'm going to use in the crease area. Now I'm going to go with the color in with the color Rebel and use the Coastal Scents 250 brush to get this from the outer corner in, not bringing it all the way into the inner corner, but also using a little product at a time and making sure it's a nice blended out color. I really want this to be a neutral look, but also this this color is a little bit on the warm side, but it does blend in with all the other neutral colors very well. I needed something a little bit darker, but not too dark. And this palette is an all-in-one palette, so this color worked very well for that purpose. Now going in with a Maybelline 24-hour eyeshadow in black. It's from the Leathers collection. I don't think this is out in the stores anymore, but you can use any black base or even a black gel liner. Just make sure you don't take it up too far up into the crease because you don't want it to cr create a mess. Going in with the color Frisky uh, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It's a nice dark color, but it has a ton of metallic shimmer in it. I'm going to take this on my finger. This is the best method for most Super Shock Shadows from ColourPop. And I'm going to put it right over that black base. It's okay if it gets a little bit higher than that black base because we're going to go ahead and blend it out in the next step using the Coastal Sense 250 brush with no product at first. We're going to blend out the edge of that Super Shock shadow. I want this to be a nice smoky look with no harsh edges. Taking the color Smoke Show from the palette, I'm going to use the same 250 brush and use that on the outer edge. It's a nice smoky color. And it works very well with this look because it is a darker gray color, almost black. And it works well with the Super Shock Shadow color in Frisky. It just is almost identical to the base color of that shadow. And it's also very smoky without it being too dark. Taking the color Jet Setter on the same 250 brush after wiping it off, I am going to go right over that Smoke Show color. This is a lighter color, but it's also neutral, so it's going to blend very well with that Smoke Show color without being too harsh because it is a lighter base color. Then taking the Sigma E40 brush and blending out that color just to make sure we're getting a seamless look from the last color to the transition color. Taking the color Charmer, I'm going to use this color as, as a highlight under the brow bone. Um, we're going to make sure to bring that down towards the transition color so that we get a nice transition from that light brow bone highlight to the transition color and the crease color. I'm going to take the Sigma E40 and blend that brow bone highlight with the transition colors just to make sure, again, we get a seamless blend. Since we lost some of the shimmer from the color Frisky, we're going to add some more with my finger once again. 
we're gonna go in with a brush that's 250 brush and lightly blend and then add a little bit more smoke show because I don't want to lose that smoky color in the crease Taking the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner to use on the lower lash line. I'm going to make sure to get this on the waterline as well. This is going to be a base for another eyeshadow. We just want to make sure that we're getting it all over the lower lash line but not all the way into the inner corner. Taking that color Smoke Show once again, on a Sony Kashuk pencil brush, I'm going to go right over that smoldering uh, eyeliner. And then I'm going to take my Sigma E30 brush and blend out that lower lash line. Off camera, I used my Marc Jacobs mascara, my e.l.f. liquid liner, which I didn't show, but you've seen it before. My Kiss number 11 lashes, I got the multi-pack at Walmart, highly recommend those. And the Duo Clear White Lash Glue. I also took the Super Shock Shadow in the color Sugar, and it's a nice metallic, bluey, um, silvery <laughs> shimmer color, and I used that as a highlight for the inner corner. But once I'm done with all that, that completes this look. On my lips, I chose the NYX Liquid Suede color in Sandstorm. It's a nice brownish, browny, reddish color, um, just a hint of a red tone and I used it on my lips and I think it paired very well with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating this look. This is the first time I've used some of these shadows so it was really nice to try it out uh, for the first time on camera. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!